government of the Republic of Zambia developed the National Energy Policy of 2019. The policy seeks to achieve universal access to clean, reliable, and affordable energy at the lowest total cost, consistent with National Development Goals by 2030. These policies are also aimed at creating an enabling environment for the private sector to competitively participate in the marketing and trading of region. I would like to state that the Ministry of Energy uh, plays a leading role in the development of energy resources in the country. And more so now that we're talking of the green economy, we'd like to push our agenda of our modern and clean energy into the system as well. Us as a ministry, because our responsibility is to promote alternative uses of other clean technologies, LPG came forth. But nevertheless, we do understand that there have been challenges for us to make sure that the usage of LPG is done at a larger scale. So we have to make sure that the information, we have to educate the public out there. Now, how do we educate the public? Just as much as we are Minister of Energy, we are actually partnering with other key stakeholders who are there to assist the government, that is the ministry, uh, in order to make sure that people are educated in terms of the benefit of LPG. One of the key stakeholders that we are working with is the WWF. These are coming in as the partners that are helping in terms of making sure that the information, that is good information, should reach the public at large for them to be able to uh, utilize LPG for their dairy cooking needs. As ERB, our concern mostly is on the safety part. So we ensure that the Zambian standards have been complied with even before we issue that license. So by the time the consumers are coming in place to come and get their product, as ERB would have made sure that the service provider has provided all the safety measures for safe use of the gas. The, the safety of, uh, of LPG usage is really the vessel itself. You know, the vessel which stores LPG, these are cylinder vessels which come in different sizes. They, they are very secure vessels. A lot of uh, engineering has been done over the years to come up with the optimal thickness of the, met the metal, which is the shell of the uh, LPG cylinder. And, uh, and it's made in such a way that uh, we don't have natural weaknesses around any part of that cylinder. When LPG is being produced in various plants, in refineries and so on, they add an odor to it, which is a smell. And uh, what, it, what that does, should there be accidental leakage of LPG, you actually smell it. You pick it very quickly. Anyone who pick it, they will know that uh, there is a strange smell. And you know that uh, maybe there is some leakage from uh, the LPG system. So we prefer using a gas cooker as opposed to an electrical cooker because it can operate with or without power. So even if there is no power, we can still cook using this gas cooker. It is clean, you can choke, like you have carbon monoxide from the use of a brazier. It is, it is available and over time it is quite affordable. Climate change is increasingly posing severe threats to our livelihoods, to ecosystems, and to the larger economy. To support the global climate agenda, and for Zambia to be ready, we must look for options on energy. We must invest going forward in low-cost, low-conflict, and low-carbon uh, energy options that will drive down the greenhouse emissions. Therefore, it is my hope and wish that through this video, our citizens will be enlightened on the benefits of using LPG and that together we can demystify the negative perception towards the use of LPG for cooking and heating in our homes.